years, we've been hearing that for 30 years, and it made me you know, sit back and say, okay, 30 years ago, the state of the art was the movie Tron. And uh, it's interesting when you say, all right, you can say, yeah, movies look so dramatically better, but I think the even more persuasive argument is like, okay, what used to take you know, half hour or something to render a frame there, we can render that in real time, better looking on a wristwatch today. And I think it's not the A to A comparisons that are the most persuasive about what technology will change there. And I don't think anybody from 30 years ago rationally would have been making a hard-headed prediction about where we are today, because you can't wrap your head around these six or eight orders of magnitude that we've been since then. So, you know, we can say five years ahead, you know, we can probably all make credible com uh, comments about that. You'll still be able to buy an Xbox, you know, Xbox One or PS4 new five years from now, unquestionably. There will be tons of time content development for that. We'll have 4K resolution displays on tablets and head-mounted displays. And we'll have another, what is that? I, that's another order of magnitude, pretty good, straightforward on high-end. Moore's law kind of in GPUs are great at turning transistors into performance. So we'll have 10 times the performance there. Uh, it means you could probably run that uh, triple 4K display at double the frame rate from one GPU. That starts looking pretty impressive there. I, you know, we've got the ever, I mean, it's great seeing some of these things that are, these are technical freight trains, and they're going kind of whether we're paying attention to them or not. Things like the display technology, the process uh, advances that are going on there, networking advancements that's going on. There's you know, a trillion dollars in economy pushing these things, so a lot of that's going to keep going, and it's going to be great to sort of be along for the ride. And figuring out the, the kind of interesting systems areas where there's a convergence of what becomes possible now that people wanted before is the sort of the cornerstone of where real innovation is going to happen. I mean, we can always turn the cranks on what we've already got, we'll always get better. But the, the insightful things are when you notice that something that you hadn't even thought about, or you hadn't thought about in a long time, or dismissed as impossible, is now possible. And orders of magnitude just sneak up on you like this. <laughs>